What's going on guys? It's Raul TV Team R3UL. Well, we're back again in the garage and what we're doing this time round is I've got a 2010, 2010 that is, I was just looking at the bridge, I didn't know what red it was. A 2010, 11, 12 kind of thing, VW Polo, it's a 1.2 petrol engine and we're going to go ahead and replace the clutch on it. Dead easy job, you can, if you want, you can even do it outside your house. It's got no subframe to take off, nothing like that. I would say it's an easy, easy job. One of the easier clutches out of all the clutches I do here. But anyway, go, guys, let's go. Right, for starters, guys, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the air filter off. Dead easy. Take that clip off. You can leave that pipe on there. Uh, take this part off. One little screw there and you push them two in that pipe will come off we'll take the battery off battery tray off and we'll go from there but like i mentioned guys this is i would say a really really easy gearbox everything is accessible nothing really hard about this gearbox right what we're going to do now as you can see i've took the air filter box off the battery's off if the <coughs> sorry if the radio is coded make sure you know the radio code in any case it has to come off so that's you know Sod's law, it has to come off. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to take this off, take this off, take this off, all 13 millis, take them three off. It should just come off, this tray should come off, and then we can gain access to the bellowsing, to the starter, to the linkage cables, everything. Right, guys, battery tray is out of the way. Next job for us is, like the other Audi A3, all VWs mostly, they have these little clips, so that's off. Little clip. So we'll take that off. This one, I've got a bit of oil on the edge there. What we do now is get a screwdriver or something and flick that off. Obviously, I'm I'm not left-handed. I'll try it with the left hand. There you go. There we go. That's off. What we do is we're going to take that one off, that one off, and that one off. Three 13 millivolts. Then the linkage bracket, everything comes out of the way. All right, guys, the linkage bracket, cables, everything's off. What we're going to do now is there's one of the bellowsing bolts right there, as you can just make it out there, shining on it. On it. There's another one. Let me, let me see if I can get the camera in there. Right, so one bellows in there. Another one should be there. Can you just make it out there, there, but it's missing. Right, somebody's already took it off. So, happy days for me because I don't need to take it off. But the thing is... Uh, I have to uh, put one on because the customer might think that I took it off and I didn't put it back on. So make sure if it, well, you're gonna have one there. Make sure you take it off and put it back on. Right? I'm, I'm, I will have to, you know, put it back on because you know I'm the last one person to do the job. So anyway, one there, one there. We'll take the starter bolt off and we'll go from there. We're gonna take the starter bolt off. We're gonna take the starter wires off, which is here, and we're gonna take this wiring plug off. All right, guys, as you can see there, I've took the starter bolt off, bellowsing bolt is off, that one was already off, so we're gonna put one, put a new one in there, remember? Right, next job for us is the reverse light switch, which is down there, you can take it off from here, or when it's, you know, when you lift you up on the ramp and everything, take it off then. We're gonna take the slave cylinder off, two bolts, 13 millis, as you can see there, there and there, take them two off, and that's about it for the top. We'll send it up and tackle the bottom. All right, guys, everything is done here. What we're gonna do now is I've cracked them two, that one and that one, 16 mil, crack them. I'm gonna bang the engine lifter on top of it while I move that out of the way. Now we're gonna put the engine lifter. The reason why we're using the engine lifter, it's got a nice anchoring point there, the engine lifting point there. If it didn't have an anchoring, uh, anchoring point there, lifting point there, then I would've done it the other way, where I would drop the engine, let it rest on the center mounting, that way if you haven't got one of these then you can just do it that way let it rest on the center mounting but please be aware it could damage it could damage the flexi the exhaust flexi but uh it shouldn't nine times out of ten it doesn't but there is that odd chance it can damage the flexi anyway guys i'm gonna put the engine lifter on as we're doing now take them two bolts off send it up right guys i've set the car up on the ramp as you can see here the center mount oh, i've got the engine lifter on through there as you can see there yeah what we're going to do is 
we, we can't get to them just yet so we'll leave them for now we'll take this center mount mounting bracket off one bolt here 16 mil one there one there one there and this one as well here on the back take that off we'll take all the belousing bolts off besides this one take the starter bolt off which is there behind that 13 milli we're going to take the drive shafts off which i've already taken off right which my brother's already taken off i wasn't here when he took it off but he has taken off it messed my video up i will show you guys right um take the drive shaft off center nut off here ball joint off there he's already snapped one there so that's going to be another mission right and six bolts here allen key m8 i think or m10 allen key the multi-spline allen keys take that off same on this side round the back here take that off take the drive shaft off ball joints off and we'll go from there all right guys sit rep the thing is we've took the starter bolt off the bottom one it's not going to come off I and mean, you don't need it off unless you're changing the starter motor you don't need it off totally it'll come off with the gearbox so that's there all the belousing bolts are off except for this one that's going to be our last bolt one's down here down here that's not coming off that uh, we don't, it doesn't need to be off because it's separated from the gearbox the one on the back is still on that's going to come off last right about this cap here the diff cap the drive shaft cap make sure you take it off if you try taking the gearbox off with that on it's not going to come off i mean you can take it off it's a real struggle real real struggle so make sure you take that off to take that off it's here by the way it's only a six mil allen key six mil allen key and all you do it goes inside here yeah so the allen key will go through there yeah so you i'll show you one second allen key will be like that in there right so we get a six mil allen key get a screwdriver through the bolt holes jam it up and take it off that way right let's go let's take this gearbox off two bolts to take off and it's ready to come off right, there we have it guys one gearbox off as you can see there the bearing is absolutely shattered all dead make sure we, we have to clean all this rubbish out from there get a blower on it blower on it make sure you clean it out big time because you don't want to leave one of these ball bearings in there and then mess the new clutch up so make sure you would do that we i think we'll have to change the arm as well the fork arm the arm that will need to be changed as well but you should get all that with the new uh with the new kit the new clutch kit should come with all that it should come with the sleeve as well if it doesn't then make sure you change all that because the last thing you want is leave all the old ones on and put a new clutch on new bearing doesn't slide properly messes everything up so make sure you do replace all that right come on let's do it there we have it guys that's the new one back on as you can see there we've got brand new uh, the arm brand new bearing brand new sleeve the thing is if you buy luk clutch guys luk that's the lu look luk this one right if you buy one of them you should get the complete kit with it right to fit that obviously i've already fitted it so i'll show you guys anyway that, not rocket science it's only two bolts one there one there take them off it's an m6 i think or m6 or m8 the clutch so what we're going to do now is we're going to take them off one two three four all together six bolts take six bolts off the nine mil multi-spline as you can see there so you can use a ring end of a nine mil spanner that should do it and another top tip is when you're taking it off or tightening it up make sure you hold the crank because the last these are timing chain driven engine these so you know the last thing you want is the timing chain to jump in mess your day up big time so come on guys let's take these off back on as you can see there i've tightened these up dead easy not rocket science clutch pressure plate is on use this lining up tool i got it with the clutch kit once uh, in the back in the days but if you don't get it with the clutch you can buy these off the e internet ebay something like a couple of quid bang that straight in there and just tighten these up happy days let's get the gearbox back on let's go all right guys now that we've got the mounting on everything is centralized what we could do is it's entirely up to you whatever you want to do okay it's it's either you do the top first finish everything off uh, off on the top first or you finish the bottom off it doesn't make no difference whatsoever i would go ahead since it's here i'm going to finish all the top off finish everything off put the battery tray on put the linkages on put the slave cylinder back on put the starter bolt back on put the bell housing bolts back on everything off on the top don't forget the reverse light switch the earth um, the uh, starter wire 
the switch or the plug for the starter basically finish all the top off in reverse order and then we'll send it up or send it up and then finish the bottom off up on the ramp what we're going to do is we're going to put this mountain back on first first things first put this one on centralizes everything we'll put the drive shaft back on the ball joints back on like i mentioned starter bolt tighten that up go through everything basically everything in reverse order let's go let's do it everything is back on again we've got the battery back on except for that wire because i've still got this bottom starter bolt and everything to tighten up and all that but we'll get to that after all right uh, all batteries on the air filters back on the linkage is back on the slave cylinder is back on the top starter bolts on bell housing bolts uh, i've tried the clutch pedal and everything all good you don't even have to bleed these ones because obviously we didn't undo any uh, hydraulic pipes or anything so it should go straight on now what we'll do we'll send it up put all the bottom on all the bo ball joints drive shafts everything on on the bottom fill it up with uh, fluid if it needs any fluid and we'll go from there all right guys there we have it the drive shafts are on ball joints are on all the bell housing bolts this bracket is on mountain bracket is on bell housing bolts are back on starter bolt is back on um, right, the ball joint on this side, I'll have to put a new ball joint on because uh, I snapped the bolt on the old one So I had to cut it off, new ones come in, so besides that everything else is done The filler The filler for this is on this side Right there, you can just make it out There Filler's there, filled it up with uh, gear oil, ATF, use ATF, I would recommend you use ATF And that's about it guys, all I need to do now is put the ball joint back on and that's it happy days let's go let's do it all right that's it guys the whole job is done i put all the drive shafts on all the uh, bell housing bolts everything is done put the battery leads on everything let's see if it starts up let's go let's go let's go let's go clutch it out happy days i love it when a plan comes together anyway these clutches are dead easy clutches you can't really get them wrong um take your time Happy days, it should be alright. Anyway guys, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button for me. Leave a comment in the comment section. And you know, if obviously I'll rush this one a little bit because my brother got stuck into it as well. I got stuck into it. I couldn't show you everything. Uh, but if you need to know anything, leave a comment in the comment section. I'll get back to you guys. Like I said, like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon.